You've got the American Century Championship. That is yeah. the uh, the annual um, big time uh, ch- charity and also celebrity event that's going down at Edgewood Tahoe. It'll be on Golf Channel Friday, July 8th, and then NBC on the weekend of July 9th as well and 10th. Uh, what's your right. game looking like? What's your game looking like? My game David? needs some help right now because I just played in uh, in the BMW Corn Ferry in South Carolina a couple weeks ago, and okay. I won it last year, which was great because I, Ozzie Smith and I were battling for first place in low handicap, and <clears throat> I was lucky enough on the last hole, you know, it was a par three, number nine at uh, Thornblade, and I hit a hole in one to win it. And not only that, I won the car, so that was even more. Uh, what? You, so you aced to win, n- not just yeah. the car and the hole, but for the whole shooting match? Are you serious? What was for the whole for the low handicap? So it was it was pretty awesome. And then this year, I I didn't even make the cut. I I, I snuck it up over there. But you know, you got to get your A game ready for Tahoe because Tahoe is, you know, I think this is my my 18th year playing there. And mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. I played in a lot of events, and this one is, is special. It's a lot of fun. They do a great job. Jonathan Thomas, you know, the CEO of American Century, he's, you know, he's just been a wonderful host. And, you know, and he, he rolls out. He's like a Steinbrenner. He rolls out the carpet for mm. all the celebrities and, mm. and makes things happen. And, you know, and NBC does their thing. They do a great job. You know, Mike Milthorpe, you know, runs out with Gary Quinn and, you know, these guys go in there and they make sure that uh, everybody's on their top uh, behavior and have fun. And they don't tolerate, you know, all the duties. So I'm always on my best behavior up there. So it's a good thing. Okay. Well, maybe NBC could get Fallon there and you can just stay out all night the night before and just shoot like a 63 <laughs> the next day, David. You know what you I'm know, saying? You know, sometimes I think that, but I've, I've tried it in golf on a hangover. And you look down, you start spinning. And you're like, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to look down very much. <laughs> the game is is weird that ball doesn't move so it's kind of it it kind of baffles you sometimes how 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 bad your game can go south but you know but it's just it's fun watching a lot of these athletes uh you know play mark Mulder is unbelievable unbelievable golfer well smoltz is the guy right isn't it smoltz isn't he the one too smoltz is the one to look out for right he's always good enough not to win Smoltz he is, but uh, he brings his game in, okay. and you know he's a competitor. And he, I think, what was it last year? He he was in a uh, playoff with uh, Benny Del Negro, and uh, and he tried to make a miraculous shot, and he he messed it up, and Del Negro won. And it was funny because uh, uh, which is uh, Greg Olson, his it was his catcher as well as uh, his caddy. Mm. When he's with the Braves, and he come in. You should have seen the look on his face. He was so pissed. It was, it was, it was. To me, it was comical, because. But that's just that's just John Smoltz. He's a competitor. He's going to try to find an edge, and it didn't work for him. But but anyways, it was great for for Benny. Great guy. But that's just the thing, guys up there. Are, you know, never you never know who's going to win. Because the competition so great. It is so much fun. It's a beautiful course, and the fans are great. And, and you yeah. know, Sean Payton's hitting it off a deck. And I don't just mean, uh, you know, a driver without a tee. I mean, like, literally off a deck of a boat that he flipped his his tee, his tee shot on on that fame par three. It's just it's a blast. It's a total blast. Oh, yeah. That, that par three can get you in trouble, too. So you got to be careful. Make right. sure your wife's not walking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about you spec- walk down the right? If you walk down the right side, you're in a little bit of trouble. You got to have <laughs> on the left. Yeah, side. you got to keep your hand. You just got to keep your vision on on the catcher's mitt, David. You know what oh, I'm saying? You just oh. got to look straight at home. Just straight home. You, That's what you, you got to look. You have to. And I remember years ago, I was uh, I was golfing with uh, um, Dan Quayle. And okay. So then a bunch of girls, I mean, in bikinis, just good looking girls. And they're like, Dan, can we get a picture? And he didn't know what to do. I'm like, Dan, go over there, man. <laughs> go get your picture with these girls. It'd be great for press. And uh, so he got the courage. He did it. And oh. I said, all right. And he went over there. I said, all right, girls, show your boobs. <laughs> and he ran like a bat out of hell. 
he got out of there so quick, and he and he's like, he just looked at me. He goes, "You're you're you're not right. <laughs> you're, you're not right. <laughs> you are not right." Okay, oh, yeah. and then then yeah. that was the end of his political career. Oddly enough, at the same time. That's strange, David. That's strange. Oh, that's great. Yeah, oh, I, I could man. ruin anybody's uh, political career. I'm, 